good day everybody today's video is going to be pretty short it is to help people who want to do other calculations other than sum in a table that is done in Microsoft Word this also will help people who were doing the invoice the other day with me who would like to calculate the total for that invoice before I do that, I'm going to remind you to subscribe, like, share, comment, and remember to watch the ads. In Microsoft Word, calculations are usually done in tables. In this table, I have to find the total of uh, 100 Fendi shoes that cost $20,000 each. To do that, I'll have to click into the cell that my formula should go in, which is right on the total. And then I'm going to click on the layout tab, which is under table tools. And then under the data group, I will select formula. Now, automatically, sum comes up when you click on formula in this case to find the total you're not going to be summing anything or finding the sum of anything in this case you have to multiply the quantity by the unit cost to find what the total is this formula requires us to type the formula in as opposed to using the formula that is built in here. So we're not using any built-in formula for multiplication. We have to type that in. So the formula would be equal quantity times unit price. So what we will do is to backspace and remove the formula that is there. Leave the equal sign because remember, each formula begins with, a, with an equal sign. And like in Excel, you have to look to see where quantity falls and where unit price falls and put in the cell address for them. So in this case, 100 is in A2. A1 has the word QTY, which is a short for quantity in there. So A2 is the cell address for 100. So we would say equal A2 and in calculation, um, when we're doing formula, we use asterisk for multiplication. And what are we multiplying it by? The unit price, which is $20,000. And that is in ABC, we're in C2. So it's actually equal A2 times C2. The number format, we can change the number format to currency. So we're going to use the one with the dollar sign since we're doing money, calculating money. When you are through, you will select OK. And there you go. So you'll be paying $2 million for that 100 Fendi shoes at a unit price of $20,000. So there you go, guys. If you need to calculate um, something in terms of multiplying, like in this case, this is how you go about doing it. All right, guys. So thank you for always watching and staying with me. Thank you for those persons who have subscribed, like, and have been sharing my videos. And I continue to encourage you to like and share and for those of you who have not subscribed as yet i'm going to encourage you to subscribe like and share as well remember to to watch the ads bye guys